Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Capgemini has again started it th its hiring for on-campus 2025 batch students. Okay, so many of you have your exams in the first or second week of January. So I have started this Capgemini preparation series on this YouTube channel. In this particular video, I will be discussing the technical MCQs which were recently asked in the Capgemini exam. So guys, make sure that you're watching this video till, till the end because lot of questions do get repeated in the exams. Okay, and similar type of questions are only getting asked. Okay, so in this video, technical MCQs I will be discussing, but in future videos, I will be discussing pseudo codes as well and coding questions which are commonly asked in Capgemini also, I will be discussing. So make sure to watch this video till the end and guys, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because a uh, lot of videos we are in different different companies we are making. So you should you should get the notification of every video. Okay, so for that, you need to hit that subscribe and like button for this channel okay and guys we have this dedicated telegram group for 2025 by students wherein lot of students have already joined and for different different companies they have different queries which are all being discussed here the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment make sure to join it so guys now let's start this video before starting the video make sure to hit that like button Okay, so guys, the first question is, if we draw a binary search tree by inserting the given numbers from left to right, then what should be the height of the BST? So let's just first make a BST. So one will come here. We know that BST uh, from the root node, left is the small one, right is the big one. So then is four. So four is greater than one. So it will be coming here. Then is three. So three is less than one. So it will be coming here. Then next is five. So five is greater than one. And then it is greater than four. So five here. Then seven. Again, seven will come here and then 9. So 9 will come here. Now this is the binary search tree but will be the height of this tree. So with a single node height is treated as 1. Then this is the 2. Then this is 3. Then this is 4. Then this is 5. So height of the tree will be 5. So this is the correct option. I hope it's clear to you. Next question is which of the following data structures in non is non-linear. So stack is a linear data structure. Array is a linear data structure. Graph is not a linear data structure. We know that graphs sometimes points like this, that this is connected to this, this is to this, then this to this, then this to this. So this is not a linear data structure, okay? So graph is not a linear data structure. Next question is, which of the following statements are correct for doubly linked list? So doubly linked list, let's just see first. We have in doubly linked list, what we have? We have left pointer, we have data, and we have right pointer, okay? And similarly, we have next node also, left, data, right. So all the nodes have two links. So all the nodes have two links. This is correct. Provide bidirectional traversing. Yes, it bidirectional traversing is possible in doubly linked list. Provides only unidirectional traversing. No, this is not correct. So one and two is correct. So option B is correct here. So I hope this question is clear to you. Let's move towards the next question. Consider an array A. This is the value of array and key element 88. How many comparison will it take to find the key element in the array using linear search algorithm? So guys in linear search we know that every element is checked. Every element is checked till we have found the element. Okay. okay. So now we have to find 88. Now this 88 we will be traversing over this array and with every element we will be comparing it. Okay. So we will first compare it with 2, then 4, then 61, then 17, then 8, then 10, then 13, 34, 67, 98. So in this we have not found any element that is equivalent to 88. So how many comparison happened? So total length of the array is 10. So 10 elements we have made comparison with. So answer here is 10. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Okay. Now guys before moving ahead, many of you have doubts that sir from where we should prepare for the Capgemini exam. So what we have done for this purpose. On our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Capgemini exam preparation material 2025 batch. Okay. So if you will open this preparation material, what you will find there are total four sections which are very important are present in this particular material. You have Capgemini technical MCQs, 140 plus questions are there. Capgemini pseudo codes are there, 140 plus questions. Capgemini coding questions are there, 90 plus questions. Okay. And Capgemini essay writing questions are also there, 50 plus questions. Okay. So now all these questions, all these sections that we are covering are the previous year questions which are asked in actual Capgemini exam. Okay. This is the updated material because if you remember in September, October also Capgemini was hiring. So all the material from all the questions from, are from those hirings only. Okay. 
so if you do not know from where you can prepare for your capgemini exam then this particular preparation material can be helpful for you it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 okay let me just show you a sample sample of let's say capgemini pseudo codes so you will see you have we are given a proper question then the proper question is given here okay of pseudo code then proper options are there then answer is also given and explanation is also given okay so i hope now this sample is clear to you okay so if you are interested and don't know from where you can prepare for capgemini then you can definitely check out this particular material the link of this material you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so now let's continue in the video okay so guys now the next question is which of the following is the correct post order traversal of the given rooted area so we are given a tree we need to find the post order traversal post order traversal of it so let's just find it so post order is what it is post left right and then root this is post order okay now let's just find the try to find the post order of this tree so first a then it comes to b then left d then f okay so first left right and then root so f then left is g then it is d okay then we are covering to b okay then we are covering to b so here if you will see the pattern here f g d b so these two are eliminated okay f g d b then these two are eliminated and now let's just continue it will be b will be coming here then it will go towards c now c inside it will go e then it will go h i e c a so f g d b h i e c a so this is the first one option is the correct one so you should know what are the different traversals of a tree these type of question can be asked from you next question is which sql statement is used to modify existing record in a table so that is a simple one it is the update statement okay yeah next is which traversal technique visits the left subtree root and then the right subtree so left root then right so this is known as in order traversal so in order is the correct answer here in order traversal next is which cloud service model provides a platform allowing customers to develop run and manage application so you see platform is coming inside the question so the, the correct option is p that is platform as a service okay in technical mcqs data structure questions operating system networking cloud questions can be asked from you okay next is in a database which normal form removes removes partial dependency partial dependency so it is known as 2nf second normal form so 2nf remo removes partial dependency 3nf removes transitive dependency so i hope now the difference is clear to you between 1nf and 2 uh, 2nf and 3nf now last question of this uh, video is which algorithm uses a divide and conquer approach for sorting so bubble sort no insertion sort no merge sort yes selection sort no so correct option is merge sort so i hope now this question is also clear to you so you should have the basic knowledge of operating system uh, data structures uh, numerical questions okay so to uh, solve this all questions so this was all for this video i hope you liked the video if you have not hit that like and subscribe button for this video till now please do it okay do join the telegram group that is given in the description box because lot of discussions regarding different different companies are happening here and if you do not know from where you can you have to prepare for your inter uh, capgemini exam then again you can check out this material this contains different different sections and all the questions are previously asked actual questions from capgemini exam okay the link of this material you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so guys thank you for watching this video